Gamers, we've built the medieval village, we've created a fishing village, now it's time to start constructing a farming village. This one will feature giant crop fields sprawling across the landscape, brand new house designs, a shopping district and more, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is actually create a new diamond hoe. That is because this village is going to feature a whole lot of crop farms of course, and I don't feel like making like a million new iron hoes every time one breaks, so I thought why the hell not, we're gonna make a diamond one. Let's also make sure to grab some lapis before we go up this time because I think I've forgotten every single time I've come up here. Let's slap that bad boy in there. Oh my god, what what does efficiency even do for a hoe? I want this to be unbreaking, but I bet you it's not going to be unbreaking. Oh yes, that's actually goaded, hell yeah. Sweet as. Let's also grab a book and some emeralds real quick so we can go up and grab a mending book from this guy, of course. There we go, now let's head down and slap that onto the hoe. Bang, diddly, there we go. So this should definitely make it a whole lot easier to uh, create all of the farmland that we're going to need to create in our new village. And yeah, so now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and find an area to create our village. And I already do have an area in mind, which is going to be behind our new base that we created in the last episode. Episode, because I know behind here is a massive sprawling plains area and I feel like it's just gonna be the easiest to build it there <laughs> And yeah, this area is definitely looking pretty nice. I think maybe towards this area over here because it's a little less hilly and it's going to make it a little bit easier to build on. And yeah, so now with our location picked, what I need to go ahead and do now is go and find some dark oak wood because yes, we're finally going to be stopping using spruce wood. I've seen your guys' comments where you're uh, ragging on me for using the same blocks and the same kind of build style. So we're going with something not too different, but it's still going to be pretty different. So yeah, I have not actually spotted any dark oak forests near me, so I feel like I'm gonna probably have to go adventuring for quite a while. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in, uh, just a second. Holy mother of god, is that what I think it is? Oh my god. Dude, I had to have traveled, like, at least over a thousand blocks, man. This took so long to find. But thank god we have finally found some dark oak. I'm gonna be getting an absolute crap load of saplings of this, because I do not feel like making the freaking arduous trek to get back here. Holy crap, man. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be here for a little while just harvesting these bad boys but uh yeah i'll see you guys back at the home base Okay, gamers, we are now back with a whole bunch of dark oak wood. Probably, uh, yeah, definitely not enough. Should be able to get a couple of houses done with that, uh, at least. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to chop down a bunch more eventually. And, yeah, so now we are back down at where we want to create our village. And, uh, now it is time to actually figure out the center point of the village. Now, I don't have any plans for, like, exactly how big I want to make this. So, I do want to make the center kind of in the middle of the village. Let's maybe crack out the old scaffolding and make, like, a big pillar. Just so we can kind of have a look from above. Let's also maybe uh, up the old render distance a bit. Might be a little bit laggy, but should be right. Okay, so this is the kind of area that we're dealing with here. And, oh, actually, I just got an idea. I feel like making the town center up on this little raised area might look pretty cool. We could have kind of the shopping district around this area, have pathways go down to, like, farms over here and stuff. Yeah, definitely, I am happy with the idea of putting the center up there. Let's go and do it right now. All right, so here we are on top, and uh, as you can see, there's actually a giant gaping hole here. So we're gonna have to to fill this in eventually. I might have to go back and grab a bunch of dirt. But yeah, we do have a chest here. Let's quickly slap this in and just chuck in all of our stuff because I hate having a full inventory. It's very annoying. And yeah, what I might do is actually head back to base and uh, grab a bunch of dirt just to fill that in. So just give me a second. I'm gonna go grab that and then uh, yeah, we'll just cut to the time lapse of me filling that in right now. Okay, now with that area flattened off, what I want to go ahead and do now is just lay out a little bit of an outline for the pathway. So I'm thinking I want the pathway to come from over this way somewhere. So let's maybe just start it right here. Let's extend it down this way. Just something like that. Maybe uh, a little bit further. And yeah, I'm thinking on this area here, pretty much all of this area that I'm circling here, I want to be adding in some like trading stalls and just some like trading buildings as well. Then as we transition up this area, we're going to be adding in some nice houses and stuff. And then down over this way, we can add in some... Uh, more dilapidated buildings and those are going to be like the farmer kind of peasant buildings you know what i'm trying to say uh, i'm going to add this in and then we can get started actually probably adding in some shopping stalls around this area okay gamers i am back and i have a whole bunch of just random blocks here i've got some random wool blocks and also a bunch of uh dark oak stuff and that's because we're of course going to be adding in some trading stalls the wool will kind of make sense in a second so let's figure out where we want to add in our first one and i'm thinking maybe uh this spot right here let's make it four blocks wide 
like so. Then I want to add in a fence gate and a fence behind it like so. This is kind of like where the actual trader will stand. I also want to strip these just because I feel like it'll look a bit nicer. Then on top of these, let's add in an additional fence and I'll also add some more onto this one. And then this is where our roof is going to start. So on here, let's add in some stair blocks like so. Let's also add some in on the back here. Okay, now in between all of these stairs, let's add in some slabs. And then on the sides, let's also add in some more slabs. And let's crack out the old scaffolding and once again, place some more slabs up here. And then in this little gap here, we're going to be adding in our wool blocks. So for this first trading stall, let's maybe add a white one and then a blue one. And there we go. That's pretty much our first trading stall done. Now we just need to add some decorations on top of that bad boy, of which I have another chest here for some decorational stuff. And oh my God, I forgot to grab my pots. Man, how am I supposed to place these into stuff with... <sighs> Dude, what am I doing? Give me a second, gamers. Okay, I am now back with some pots. So let's add some on there and just chuck in some random flowers. This can be a uh, flower trading stall, I guess. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for the first one. Actually, I think instead, let's maybe get rid of this one and add a lantern on there instead. I think that'll look a bit nicer. Keep the area a bit brighter as well. Okay, so for the next one, let's move a little bit further up this way. And instead of adding like an actual roof one, let's maybe just have like a bunch of tables. So let's have maybe one here and then let's leave a big old gap there connect them up with some slabs like so maybe for the next one let's make it a little bit shorter and place a chest in front of this one this time and then for the final one let's make it shorter once again and use a barrel to cap off the end of this one why the hell not you know now let's strip all of these logs just because i feel like it looks a bit nicer and cleaner and now it's time to just add a bunch of random decorations on top of these tables it kind of sucks i wish i had more tabletop decorations like some brewing stands and just uh you know random stuff like that but uh, unfortunately I do not have those yet of course so we might just have to leave these a little bit uh, kind of sparsely decorated but that's okay we can always come back and just add in more stuff when we want to maybe for this next one let's add in an extinguished campfire and another flower pot with an azalea and then for this one we can just leave it blank you know why not doesn't have to be something on every single table okay now for the next trading stall off on this corner we're gonna go with something a little bit larger so let's place in our first block here leave a gap of three and place in another one and let's connect these up with some slabs then let's place in two fences on top of these. Then we're going to leave another gap of three and let's place in three fences this time. Next, let's once again crack out the old scaffolding and head up here. Now let's add two slabs like so and then we're going to connect them up over to this side doing the same thing. I'm going to quickly do the same thing on this side as well. There we go. And now let's continue the slabs up this way. And then in between here, let's add another two and then another two on top of that. And now, of course, let's repeat this exact same thing on this side. And I'm out of slabs, of course. My God, man. Okay, there we go we go. Let's add those on. So there's the outline of the roof done. Now let's grab our wool and uh, maybe let's go with some blue wool this time. Oh my god. And of course it starts raining. Well, it's time for another building in the rain with disruptive segment. So yeah, let's add in some white wool on these sides. And then as for the middle, of course, let's add in our blue wool. Then up on the top areas, we're going to extend it once again up here like so. Oh, it's actually thunderstorming as well, meaning I can go to bed and get rid of this stupid rain. And now the building in the rain with disruptive segment is over. Okay, and there we go. There is our trading store all created. Now it's time to just go ahead and add some decorations in here to make it a little bit more lively. And so for this one, I have grabbed a whole bunch of just random like smithing blocks and I'm running out of hot bar room here. <laughs> all right, so all the way at the back, let's just add in a couple of blocks like this. Let's maybe even get rid of this fence here and make it go actually onto our little table here. And then we can remove this one and add in some more decorative blocks in between here, like uh, maybe a smithing table and a furnace. And then in the middle here, let's maybe add a chest. And then uh, beside that, an anvil and then on the left side let's maybe add in a barrel like so let's also slap a lantern on there and there too just to keep it nice and bright and there we go there's our like smithing trading stall completed now to the right of this let's add in another little table kind of section like that one over there except let's just make this one a little bit smaller this time then at the back here let's just add in a couple of random flowers and stuff like so actually another detail that i just thought would be kind of nice is uh some spruce buttons but that's okay we can just add one on there one why not? Actually, I feel like it would be a little bit better to put it over on this side because this table has kind of, you know, nothing on it. So let's just add one in there. I don't know what that's meant to be. Something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And now for the final trading stall of this area, we might eventually add more in, maybe sprawl it off this way, but I do want to get other things built in this episode. Uh, yeah, so for this final trading stall, let's just add it in here. We're going to strip all of these. And now as for the decoration on this one, let's get an extinguished campfire and then a lantern to the right of that. Uh, and now the final thing I want to add to this area for now is to uh, maybe just kind of...
kind of fade out the pathway instead of it just being like a complete stop. Let's add in our pathway blocks here and you'll kind of see how that looks. There we go, just like that. Instead of just being a harsh stop, you know, it kind of fades out. And now branching off this path, I want to add in some dirt paths off to our little trading stalls here. So let's add one over this way that comes in between these two stalls as well. And let's actually maybe make it connect up to the path over this way as well. And then one more here for this one as well. There we go. So yeah, I'd say this trading area isn't completed yet. I would like to add more, but like I said before, I want to add in some other things in this video as well. So we're going to leave it at that for now and we'll revisit this probably in the next episode. Okay, so now what I'm thinking is let's branch our pathway up and over to this way and also we'll probably continue it that way as well eventually. And I'm thinking this spot right here is going to be perfect for a nice little house. So let's remove some of this dirt here just to make it a little bit uh, flatter and uh, easy to work with. And I might actually do the pathway later because uh, I don't know exactly where I'm going to have this base. And so yeah, let's go ahead and lay out the foundation of the pillars. Okay, so let's have the front door right here. Then we're going to leave a gap of one on the either side of those like so and then we're gonna leave a gap of three and then branch it off to the left here then let's leave another gap of three coming back this way and then we're going to pretty much just mirror these pillars on this side except this time we're not going to add in these two we're just going to bring it all the way across like so now let's raise all of these pillars up to be four blocks high in total we're also not going to be adding our little sticky out noblets just because uh, i want to keep it pretty different here and then as for these four like we're going to raise these up to be six in high so one two three four five six there we go and then these two front ones are actually going to be only five blocks high so there we go then we're gonna add a log in right here and uh yeah i actually just realized i may have lied to you guys this front area is actually going to be six blocks high now while we're up here we might as well add in our roofs okay and there we go there's the roof added in and now it's time to add in the walls and some details firstly starting off with our front door here let's chuck in some upside down stairs there and then let's replace this block as well with one of our pathway blocks might as well just do some stone let's come back here add in our door and then above here in this little area up here let's add in a dark oak fence gate. I almost said a spruce fence gate. God, you can tell how long I've used spruce for, man. Jesus Christ. I'm kind of glad you guys told me to switch it up just because, you know, I feel like I needed you guys to tell me that or else I would have just kept going with spruce just because I love it so much. But uh, yeah, that's not really an excuse. I should be building some different interesting things for you guys. So I'm glad to be switching it up with this episode and with this new village. Okay. And so now let's add in our walls, which are going to be predominantly stone bricks. I want to add in some very, very light texture with some stone blocks. I don't know why I just feel like it's gonna look nice doing that and uh, once again I have realized I've forgotten another thing some freaking glass panes man god damn it give me a second I'll be right back okay I'm back with some glass panes so let's go ahead and add that in and I just realized that this block is actually not going to be a stair it's going to be a full block instead and in here what we're going to add is a dirt block and surround it with some spruce tramp doors like so and this is actually going to be a little planter box which we can go ahead and add maybe a dandelion in there and yeah it's kind of annoying how Minecraft like randomly off centers the uh, blocks like that. It's uh, definitely kind of frustrating to work with because I don't want to put it in a pot. I want it to be nice and full, but um, yeah, I mean, oh well. It is what it is, you know? Now over on this wall here, we're going to add in once again the exact same thing. And let's just add in that cornflower that I destroyed as well. Why not? and add in our glass pane. Now, as for the back, we're going to be filling this wall in completely just to give us some room to work with on the inside. And on the side here, we can just quickly add in another window. And this time we can add in, I don't know, maybe a poppy. Now for the final area right here, we're just going to once again, fill this in with some stone bricks and some stone. And now for the final thing on the exterior, let's add in some lanterns on the edge of all of these like trim blocks here, just to keep the area nice and bright around it. And I also missed this block here, whoopsie daisy. There we go. And yeah, so there we go. We're now fully done with the exterior of the house. This is how most of the houses are going to look in this area. We will, of course, change the shape up, make some smaller ones, some bigger ones. And I do have a design for a very, very big build that I want to do. I'm not sure if we'll do that in this episode or not. But yeah, now let's head on inside and replace all of our floor blocks here. Actually, let's just do only stone. I think that'll look nice. It'll contrast the uh, mostly stone brick walls a little bit better. Let's add a staircase off into this corner. Bring that all the way up to the top. Let's grab out our slabs and add in a ceiling as well and let's go to bed to uh, reset it to daytime of course and then on the inside in this area let's add in a little bit of a kitchen design with a whole bunch of furnaces let's actually just make them only on this side here and then because this house is kind of short we can't really add anything up there so uh, I mean oh well then on this side let's maybe add in a barrel and a chest like that we don't need to go too ham with the interior of these we're probably never going to see this again so yeah and now up on the top floor let's add in a bed let's maybe chuck a chest beside that and then a 
a barrel on the other side. Now I do realize uh, we are adding barrels, which means our villagers will turn into fishermen, but uh, honestly, I don't really care at this point. I like the look of the barrels. We can just deal with the fishermen. <laughs> Should be right. And then for the final decoration in here, let's maybe add a little table here with a flower pot and an azure blue it in that. Let's maybe actually add another one over here with a lantern on. Let's add a lantern in here as well. And then we'll chuck one in on this bottom floor right here. Actually, uh, yeah, we can't really do that because that is gonna take up a lot of space. Let's actually add it on top of the furnace here. And then we can add another table on this corner here with another lantern. There we go. There is the first house of the village done. Looking pretty nice. I actually really like the way this one turned out. Okay, and so now with this house done, let's go ahead and branch our pathway up over here as well. Let's just fill in the rest of all of the pathway blocks here, and there we go. There's our pathway added in, connecting up to our first house. And yeah, so now with this done and our shopping area done, I think what I'll go ahead and do next is create a couple more house buildings in this general area around here. We'll change the shape up a bit for some of them. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that as a time lapse right now. Okay, so that just about does it for all of the houses I wanted to add into this area for now. And this actually did give me an idea while I was building this. I think laying out the town so that all of the high areas have like these high class buildings. So like all of this area up here and then maybe we branch it off over this way as well. And then all of the lower areas is where we're going to be adding in the farms and the more kind of uh, lower tier buildings, I guess you could say. Also check out this house. That actually looks so cool. It's literally the exact same design as this one, except we've just repeated this on the other side. I think it actually looks really awesome. That'd be like a really nice base design if we like made it a bit bigger as well. I don't know what it is about it. It just looks sick, okay? <laughs> Just thought I'd point that out. Also, I just remembered that we uh, completely forgot to link up the pathway to this base. I'm just going to do that real quick right now. Okay, there we go. Much better. Okay, and so yeah, now with this area done, it's time to add in our first little farming area, which I'm thinking is going to go down here. I think it's definitely a nice spot. We got like this nice cliff and it'll make for some nice contrast between like the farm down here and then the uh, more established village up above. All right, so now let's go ahead and just smoothen off this landscape a little bit just to give us a little bit more room to work with here. Even though this house isn't going to be very big, I just want to have like a bit of an area around it as well. Okay, and so to start off our building here, it's going to be five blocks wide. And then let's place our other corner blocks just to, you know, outline it. Okay, and now we're pretty much just going to be adding in a big textured like walls pretty much. There's not going to be much detail on these except for just the little bit of texture that there's going to be. And also I need some stair blocks. Oh my God, give me a second. Well, I actually only need one stair block. So um, yeah, let's just add that in there. And then let's grab our door and slap that on there as well. So that's our front wall there. Let's also go ahead and add our window in here as well, which is just going to be a fence, of course. Then let's crack out the old scaffolding and uh, jump up here and start adding in this area where the roof is going to be. So we're going to go up by an additional two here. And then let's go up again. And then we're going to add one block on top of here like so. Okay, and now for the side walls, let's just add these in real quick. And then the final side wall, the same thing as the other one, of course. Here we go. Now it is time to add on our roof. And I don't think we have enough slabs for this. I'm probably going to 
have to get more in a second, but uh, yeah, we'll do that when the time comes. So firstly, let's place a temporary block here so that we can place in to there. Then we're going to branch this off to the right as well like that. Then let's bring this all the way down to the other end. We're going to add in these little divots as well in between like leaving a one block gap, you know what I'm trying to say. And let's get out the old scaffolding once again. Let's head up here. We're going to extend this all the way up here. Bring it out by one. Let's extend our scaffolding once again. Bring this up over here and then we're going to raise this up like so. And uh, yeah, now let's just repeat this on the other side. And there we go. There's the front trim of the roof. Now let's bring this over to the other side here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to mirror this trim design on the back side. So just give me a second. Okay, and now with the trims added in, it is time to add in the uh, the one weird thing about this roof, which is actually going to be, uh, you know, the main roof is made out of hay bales. Now, I really hope I have enough here. I harvested a whole bunch of my freaking wheat fields to get this much. So I'm praying that this is going to be enough. We're of course going to be needing more for the future farmhouses we're going to need, which uh, I'm not looking forward to. But thankfully that was enough. And yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it gives off a nice little like kind of farmer house vibe. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, you guys probably get what I'm talking about. Okay, and now it's just time to add in some of the uh, small details that this house has, which is first going to be a fence here with some fence gates beside. We're also going to add a single torch on the front here. And now let's just repeat this on the back. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for their house design. Nothing too crazy. That's exactly how I wanted it. I didn't want it to be the most craziest thing ever. And now let's add some nice little decorations beside the house. Uh, I just need to grab a few things. Give me a second once again. So off to the left here, let's add in a little bit of a campsite. So let's chuck our campfire maybe right here. And I think under this, let's put a hay bale just to extend the flames up so they're nice and tall. And let's grab out some dark oak logs and just make a couple of nice little chairs around this. And then let's remove those like so. There we go. Then actually beside the house here, let's add like a little bit of a barrel pile and maybe put a chest there. Let's add a couple more barrels like that. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Now on the opposite side of the house over here, let's add in a little bit of a wheelbarrow design. And so to make that, all we need is a hopper, a grindstone, and a dark oak fence gate and uh, a temporary block as well. So let's go ahead and place our temporary block here so that we can place our hopper down facing in towards that. Then we're going to connect that up with a grindstone here. And then finally at the back here, let's place an opened fence gate. And there we go. Just looks like a nice little wheelbarrow, you know, a nice farmer decoration thing. And yeah, so that pretty much does it for all of the, uh, you know, details and the house and stuff. And now it is pretty much just time to go ahead and add in our massive sprawling crop farm. I don't exactly know how big I want this to be. Probably it's going to extend like around this way and I'll probably end it there and bring it around this way like that. And of course, we'll be doing that as a time lapse. So let's get started right now. Okay, and there we go. There's our farmhouse done and our big giant sprawling crop field done as well. And so that just about does it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.